Europe is broke. Don't deceive yourself. Why? It's simple. Europe is broke. Europe is broke. That's the reason. And you know what broke people do? They try to make money by any means possible. Now, Europe was built of Africa wealth. Slavery from Africa, mineral from Africa, every little wealth that Europe has, they had built it out of Africa minerals. They were able to stabilize themselves and manage to last this long after they had shed Africa as a piece of cake in their hands. And they managed to do all that by sharing among themselves each and every African country which they had to colonize after all this time until now when everything in Europe is collapsing and African countries are starting to say no to not let the Europe continue looting Africa as they've been doing all this time. Europe on other side don't want to be defeated by Africans. They therefore start scrapping another new strategy in order for them to continue looting Africa, in order for them to continue doing what they have done before when they were colonizing African countries. Remember what they did in the past? They came in Africa, they fool Africa, they slave Africa, they looted Africa, they kill Africans, they did all kind of crimes that this world is supposed to be condemning. They did it all in Africa and they build wolf out of Africa. So when African is crying, an European is celebrating some way out of the wealth that they did not make with their own sweat. When African child is dying out of anger, there is an European child somewhere in France seated throwing the food in the bin saying that this food is not good for them to eat it anymore. So the suffering of Africans, it is indeed the enjoyment of Europeans. They can't do that anymore because we are not going to allow that. But they are coming with a new strategy. They are coming with the hopes. These people, they are coming with things such as climate change, climate policies. They are busy implementing new rules, saying that Africa, stop burning so much. Africa, stop growing so quickly. They are coming with things such as Africa, stop overpopulated. Africa, don't do this, don't do that. We are here to guide you to grow up your democracy. Europe is trying to colonize Africa again, guys. Europe pretend to give independence to African countries, but yet they do not leave Africa. They only leave Africa physically, not economically. And that is the reason why they never want to see Africa trading among themselves without them being involved. Truth is, it's a million miles from the reality of EU-Africa trade policy as it exists now. Because our economic relations with Africa are simply a continuation of European colonialism, perpetuating exploitation by other means. Africa trades more with Europe than it does with itself. It's portrayed as a poor continent, but actually it's the richest. Europe is trying to colonize Africa again, and this time it is through them being intellectual. They are telling us, switch off your coal power stations. They are saying to us to rather have load shedding but saving the world. They are saying to us, the ozone layers, it is too polluted. We are all going to die because of the carbon emissions. Yet, Europe has had enough time to build industries through our coal, through our diamond, through our gold, through our African minerals that we're supposed to be having under our possessions. But they took it and went all the way to Europe. They developed their countries. They built their own economies. They sustained their countries and their economy through what Africa gave them. But when it's time for Africa to do the same, when it is about time to get to develop their economy through their minerals, Europe tell us to rather take loans to build solar power stations. Just imagine that which themselves, by the way, they are shutting it down because it is not giving them enough energy. They want us to take their loan to build the things that is not working for them so that we can repay them back with money that we don't even have. 
Because these loans, when they give it to Africa like that, they're expecting you to pay it with more interest. That is how they manage to sustain their economy all these years. And the worst part of all this is that the leaders that we're having in Africa, they are not that clever enough to understand all this. Our African leaders, they don't see it for what it is. They don't understand that this is a new way that the West power, they are trying to implement, to put it in place in order for them to continue looting Africa as much as they want. For example, these African leaders, they are so excited, they feel so happy whenever they are being promised to be given some aids from the European Union, so whether it is NATO countries, whether it is the US or France, who is promising to give them some aids. Do you know why they get this excited? It's because they see a good opportunity for them to become even more rich, forgetting that their people, people of Africa, they will be the one getting to punish from all this. They don't understand that Europe is broke and they are trying to colonize Africa again through their economy. Here is another good and fine example. They are asking the DRC, Republic Democratic of Congo, to stop cutting the trees in their forest. We all know that after Amazon forest, we are having Congolese Equatorial Forest, which is the second biggest forest in the world that can save this world. They've been meeting several times for climate change and they believe that the solution to these problems is seated in the DR Congo. And they had the courage to ask the Congolese government to tell their people to not cut the trees in this forest. But yet, they are the one who've been cutting these trees for many years to go and develop their countries. All the wooden that you guys get to see over there in the overseas, in the construction sites, in the ship, in every place possible that you find woodens. These woodens, they are coming from Africa continent. They managed to go and build their countries with all these trees. And now today they are having the courage to stop people of Congo to not cut the trees. Yet they have not even tried to think to develop Congolese by giving them that money free out of charge so that Congolese they can also try to give it to their people and develop their country so that no one should not go in the bush and cut the trees. Again here, yeah, you see for yourself how clever these people they think they are. So they enjoy it even more for them to continue using African leaders in order for them to destroy Africa as much they want. What African needs at the moment is to switch off all these activities, all these minerals that the West, they don't want African to use it on their own populations, to reject all these things and tell them that no, for sake, we don't need you. We can do everything as much we want with our own mineral. And stay with your money. We don't need need to take loan from Europe because we are the one who made Europe to become who they are today through our slavery, through our minerals, through our gold, diamond, platinum, uranium, all this natural resource that is being found in Africa continent. So African, we need to understand that we are the one who made Europe to become what it is today. So, and we have to understand that Europe is now trying to come back and colonize Africa afresh through our economy and we cannot allow this to happen again because this is not the same generation that they used to dominate back in days we can't say no to this when we still have african leaders who are gathered all of them inside one school bus in europe for them to go and bow before a so-called king of england we cannot allow that guys when will europe leaders come all the way to Africa, to one only of Africa country, all of them be treated in such manner. Can you imagine an European president being treated in this way? What will the world have to say? Our African leaders, they have embarrassed us enough already. Because even after they are being treated in this manner, you will still find them going again to the next head of the state who will invite them. Why can't we see, for an example, European Union countries versus South Africa summit? Why it has to be only 
African leaders, 54 of them, gathered in one bus or in one place for them to go and meet a so-called head of the state somewhere in America or Russia or in China. Sometimes I don't even understand how you can allow yourself to be treated in such manner. Yet, when these people come into your country, you are shaking, you are treating them, showing already that they are your masters after all. The United States of America, France, China, Russia, and United Kingdom convene all 54 heads of states and government for a meeting and they all go following each other like Casey and Jojo as a head of states to listen to one head of state, 51 of them. Sometimes they disrespect them to a point where they put all 54 heads of states of Africa in a school bus to go and listen to one head of state. I don't know if you'll regret inviting me after this. But my problem is that I tell my truth as is. And I say it to authorities without fear or favor. I don't know if President William Ruto means it because he said so many things and I can't locate him these days because the things he said during election and the things he's doing now are two different things. I don't know. Because I heard him saying we need to do away with the dollar and build our own currency but his actions are not speaking to anything of doing away with the dollar the latest being putting a red carpet for a murderer a person who killed the kenyan people coming into this country receiving a red carpet and being saluted by our own army this is not a Kenyan army, it's not a colonialist army. The Kenyan army is a product of the Mau Mau rebellion. And those who killed our people in the Mau Mau rebellion cannot be saluted by the same army of the children of those who were killed during Mau Mau rebellion. Europe cannot continue looting Africa the way they did before. Africa. Now it has young people, young generation with a flesh blood who have arise to defend their continent. And that is why it is up to you and me to stand and say that enough it is enough. Enough it is enough for us to stop being Twitter's activities. Enough it is enough for us to not be treated as animals. We actually need to get involved in all this. We have to be the last people who will have the last opinions on what these Europeans they decide on Africa continent. We need to be the first people who cares for this beautiful continent. We need to be the first one who need to protect this beautiful soil, which our forefathers have been killed in order for them to protect our future. We need to join our forces together in order for us to defeat the enemy who does not want to see Africa continent developing, going even more far with the better life that people of Africa have been seeking all this time. We need to unite together and stand against all these forces from the Western power and tell them that Africa, it has new class of young people who are intelligent, who are strong, Africa, it has a new generation that are smart to understand what is happening and what is going on in this world. Africa has that young generation that are not allowing for Europeans to come and continue colonizing Africa and treating people of Africa in a such a bad way that does not make African people being respect to the world. And we can do all this by starting taking back our power by starting also denouncing each and every dictatorship that we get to see around africa all corruptions that we see in africa all the crime that we get to see in africa you and i start telling each and every young people that we come across our countries in the africa continent in the diaspora telling them that are you ready to face your destiny as african child are you ready to face the worst power alongside together with the Europeans and kick them out of Africa continent? 
if for example one of african child asking you why do i have to do that then tell them do you know that europe is trying to recognize again africa continent i believe the next question they'll ask you how so you tell them that by not letting africa economy to be free they want to control african economy so that they'll continue looting africa as much they want are you ready to let them do this yes or no they had enough time to develop their country they had enough time to educate their own people now that is the time for africa to start developing now that african countries they are not standing one by one in order for them to develop their countries then here comes europe popping up starts asking africa to stop using their coal mining this same coal that they are buying it in order for them to go and build power station over in their countries they have the courage to ask africans to not cut their trees in their forest because it will help to the development of climate change the climate change which africans have been victim out of it yes africans they are not the one who burn this earth Africans, they are not the one who have a lot of uh, uh, chemistry companies which had to go and destroy the climate change. That the one who've been doing all these things, they damage the planet. Now they want to come and tell Africans to not cut their trees because they believe that these trees will, is the ones bring the oxygen to the world. See for yourself how crazy these people can be sometimes. Can you see how these people are willing to sacrifice Africa happiness in order for them to continue enjoying their life like no one cares? Europe with the US continue tracking our mineral resource. They are the one who have to come and impose at what price this mineral have to be sold out there to other nations. They came in South Africa telling South Africa to stop using coal mining. Yet they are the one who have to buy it in, in order for them to go and warm up their countries. They went to Niger creating a lot of trouble in order for them to have the Niger uranium so that they'll keep their home and their school during winter in a good temperatures. We have our own researchers in Africa that are telling us that Europe they are giving us the false and wrong information. We even have Europeans who are telling us that. These Europeans have feel pity telling us that Europe had looted and steal from Africa for too long. Africa trade more with Europe than it does trade among themselves as African countries. How possible is that? Africans are giving a lot of value to the European currency than their own money. Africa, if we do not stand up together as Africa and fight against this, trust me, we will not gonna go anywhere because we will continue suffering the injustice of the past which our forefathers were being used by these same people. Our forefathers saw how their land has been taken away from them. If we don't stand now, we will also see our own future being taken away from us slow by slow, bit by bit, if we don't stand together as one Africa. Europe is even more determined to make sure that Africa remain at their service. Africans should continue being their slaves. They might pretend in front of cameras saying that we have lived Africa, we had let Africans to be independent, but economically, Africa still the slaves of the Europeans. It is about time we say enough, it is enough. We are not that Africa continent that will allow or tolerate this nonsense. We are not that Africa that will continue allowing these people to continue also destroying what our forefathers have managed to build for us so far. We are not continuing to allow Europe to come and recognize us again and become rich out of our mineral resource which is supposed to be benefiting us, which is supposed to be helping us to develop our countries and become the superpower in the globe. Enough, it is enough. We must exchange political landscape because we need to take what belongs to us. We must put our differences aside and get to be united as one Africa and say that we are ready, we are ready as Africans to take the future of our land into our possessions and nothing will stop. 
stop us. We are going for it and we will succeed because we know that we are all united as one Africa. Together with every single challenges that will come across, we know that we have each other back. We are looking after each other and we will go until the end. That is how we will get to succeed to have possession of everything under our own control. We must decide and we must be sure that victory it is certain ours because we are the sun and women of Africa soil. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your time. If you are an African all over around the world where you are watching us from and you find something beneficial that you would like to pick from this video, from this beautiful message we have passed to you, Please don't exist and leave this video without giving us your thumbs up, like this video, drop your comment in the comment section. Tell us also what strategy would you like to see us applying in order for us to defeat the Europeans with the West, all of them together. And if this is your first time to watch our videos, guys, make sure that you hit that subscribe button because this is what we talk and what we discuss every day on this channel. If you don't want to miss any of our videos, you just have to make sure that you follow this beautiful uh, African uh, family so that you don't miss any of our videos whenever we are live here for now continue to be yourself be good be kind have respect for everyone in order for you to be respected may god bless you all i'll see you again very soon ciao ciao